Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see how to create test cases. Top 5 test cases for SAP M1. Only 5 test cases I am going to create. Let's go to the... This is my test case template. And in test case version 0. Because it is not been reviewed, so it is 0. SAP M1. Now let's go to the body. Okay. First, the test case ID. Test case ID. Is ID. Okay. Yes. Dash. M1 dash. Dash zero. Okay. Now, test description. Test case description. To check whether whether. Check whether purchase requisition number range number range number range is between between four one triple zero to four five triple. Okay, steps. Steps. Number one, login to SAP system with valid user ID and password. Password. Step number two, okay. enter transaction code. ME fifty one year. Enter in transaction code field. field. Enter material number. Enter plan. Enter storage location, location, enter valuation, valuation, price, valuation, price, enter purchasing code, click save. Save button. Expected result. SAP should allow the user to save. Number two. Number range should be between number range should be between one four this is the first discussion number two same I'm going to create numbers two test case id let me copy this Test case number two. Purchase order. Check whether purchase order number range is between four six triple zero four six triple zero two double five triple nine double five triple number range. Log same. Log in with. We start from the beginning. We start from one. Okay. Login with user ID and password. Enter transaction code ME 21 year. Enter vendor. Purchase organization. Purchase 
destination, enter material, enter plant, enter storage location, enter purchase price. Purchase price, enter purchasing group, click save. Okay. Now, we start from the beginning. We start from one. Okay. Should allow the user to save the save and then click on to let me copy this. Number range should be between. Number range should be between 46 to 0 to purchase order number range, PO number range. Number range should be between. Okay, this is acceptable. Third test case. Let me copy this. Third test case. I'm going to create third test case. Third test case. This is only for number range. Three. Check whether material document, material document number range, number range should be 56002, 59999999. Okay. Login with. User ID and password. Enter ME21N. Okay. Create purchase order. No. By creating purchase order. Now go to PC MI0. We go. Enter transaction code. We go. Now enter. Purchase order number, goods receipt, purchase order number, created in step 10, step 10, step 10, okay. Now, click item. Okay, and post, and post, post. Expected result should this. Goods receipt number range, that is material document number range. Goods receipt number range should be the above number range. Above number. This is the expected result. Now, fourth, fourth test case. What right? Fourth test case. Test case number four. Number four. Accounting document. Check whether accounting document number range between six triple double zero triple zero to six five triple. Okay, accounting doc. Okay. Start from the beginning. Start from the and from the one, okay. Do goods receipt item okay and post. Now go to display material document. Document in MIG transaction code. Transaction code MIG. MIG. Now 
display document click on to document info click document info document info click fi doc check accounting document number check number okay check accounting document number okay. the number range should be this is the number range start from the beginning G accounting document number range should be between six double zero double zero to six point triple. Okay, finally, fifth invoice certification. Invoice certification. Last space. Okay, last space. Fine. Fine. So check whether vendor invoice number. Number is between six double six triple zero to seven triple nine double nine double. Okay. Restart from one. Login with user ID and password. Okay. Valid user ID and password. Create purchase order by entering vendor, purchase organization, material, plant, storage location, purchase price, enter purchase group, click save. Now to MIGO, Migo, GR, goods receipt. I'm doing goods receipt here. Click item OK and post. Now go to transaction code MIR. MIR. Enter document date. Enter select tax, select tax, and click select tax code, tax code. Now enter PO number, purchase order number, create. So it's created. Enter purchase order number. Enter baseline date. Baseline date. Click save. To save vendor invoice number. Invoice number. Okay. Expected result should allow the user to save. Start from the beginning. Vendor invoice number range should be between. This is the number range. This is the number range. This is how you create, and I have to enter actual result. Expected result, actual result. Up, this will be upon executing the project, upon executing the above scenarios. Actual result. Everything needs an actual result. All the
actually. This is how you create the test cases. Thank you.